Hi, this is Chris. Welcome back to my channel, Great Northwest Comics. It is the first weekend of October and it's the spooky season, so it's time to pull out some chilling covers. Um, hope you're all having a great weekend. Today's Saturday. It's a beautiful day in the Pacific Northwest. It's actually hot, about 80 degrees, and so I went for a bike ride. Um, and so my face probably shows it, probably a little sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> even though I showered, but uh, I just wanted to make sure I put in a, a video today and show off some uh, spooky books I got, and uh, I think the title of this uh, video is going to be called uh, Something is Killing My Wallet, and you'll see why in just a moment. Uh, first off, this is a book I got from a convention a couple of years ago. This is Vinyl Number 1, uh, I believe. Uh, I'm not sure who the artist is on this. Maybe I'll look it up and put it on the con in the little board below but it's very uh spooky um beautiful woman walking through a puddle of blood it looks like very ethereal so i always pull this out at halloween to uh get into the spirit and uh but before we start on the cool stuff i just want to address the elephant in the room here i'm sure you've all heard that taylor swift could potentially be dazzler in the upcoming deadpool 3 movie so if you're sitting on books like this, you're sitting on a gold mine, apparently. <laughs> now, I got this book for about, I think, 10 bucks or less from Journos Comics, and he even pressed it for me, I think. So it was just fun for me to have, just for the hell of it. And there's no rumors at all, but uh, I'm going to refer to this book now as the first uh, solo title for uh, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Since she's so pro potentially be Dazzler, who knows? And if you're sitting on, especially if you're sitting on an X Men, I believe 130, the first appearance of Dazzler or first appearance of Taylor Swift, <laughs> that's a great book to have right now. So I just had to throw that out there. You know, I feel like I'm one of the cool kids because I actually have one of these books in my collection before it got hot, I guess. <laughs> Too fun. Anyways, I did pick up some great books this week. Um, I'm only going to show uh, a couple here. But this is uh, Vampirella Dead Flowers, and I believe this was written by um, Sarah Frazetta. I don't know if she's the daughter or granddaughter of Frank Frazetta, uh, the famous uh, Vampirella artist. And I just had to pick this one up. I really like this cover. I think it's a Gun uh, Saddam cover. Saddam cover. Very cool. Looking forward to reading that. And then I was able to get another copy of... Legion of Superheroes, uh, Jim Lee cover, uh, issue number two, featuring uh, Superboy and Crypto. I already have this in a CGC 9.8, but I thought I'd pick up another one so I can have another copy, and this one looked great, so I, I, I couldn't resist. All right, now let's get down to business. So part of my collection, collecting goal is to get the full run of Something is Killing the Children. When I started collecting them, they started off, I started off at issue 16, which was the start of a new storyline. So at the time, I thought that was a great uh, time to start. And uh, I love the series, um, regardless of if it gets to be made into a Netflix series. I don't care. I just think it's a very interesting story, uh, quirky artwork and stuff, and really enjoying it. So I just want to show off my latest acquisitions here. And yeah, I got these at very reasonable prices. Like, I don't think I paid more than uh, $10 per book, um, not, not including, like, tax and shipping. Uh, so this is number 15. Uh, number 14, very cool cover. These are all the A covers, the first printings. Um, I just want first printings. Um, I don't like the, you know, comic, comic mint um, exclusives or store exclusives or, you know, whatever artist exclusives. I, I generally just like um, the, the A covers or B cover if it's really cool. Kind of like what I do with uh, Spawn. I get the A and the B covers. Uh, this one should be, sorry, I'm like, I'm going down in order here. So yeah, it's a 12. Very cool. Uh, number 11. And then... I just got in the mail from my friends at eBay because apparently we're on good terms now. <laughs> the, uh, when, when I shop on eBay, I always try to get more than one book from a seller so I can save on, on shipping to help bring the cost down. And I definitely like sellers who use the Gemini shippers, the mailers. And uh, 
uh, definitely like this. So they taped it to the board and they have little pull tabs, which, are, which I appreciate. And it looks like they're new, new bags and boards too, but typically, um, unless it's a Silver Age bag and board, I usually just um, save the, the, the bags and boards they come in and then I put them in Silver Age and I use the, the other ones for other purposes. Oops. This is a, let's see, like that. Like that. Oh, it's sticking to that. All right. It's a little trick, more tricky than I thought it was gonna be. All right, so let's do this. I'm gonna pause for a moment. Okay, so I got it all untangled. Um, I forgot to mention, uh, this is a fourth printing of the number one of Something is Killing the Children. I got this one from uh, West Coast Avengers on uh, one of his claim sales. Uh, beautiful book, perfect, near mint, just like he was saying. Really love this. This is my, probably my favorite uh, variant cover out of the eight, uh, eight total printings. I would prefer, of course, to have number first printing, but people are, are pricing them so high. Um, I, I can afford to wait on that. So this, this is a great compromise. Um, but anyways, so continuing from 11, I just picked up number 10 and number nine. So I'm very happy getting, getting closer and closer. I have a kind of a lead on a uh, number two, uh, which is a striking red cover with uh, Erica uh, Slaughter, I guess, I guess she's a lighter, um, in profile. Very, very nice looking, almost like a sketch cover almost, it looks like. So I'm looking forward to seeing if I can get a hold of that. And uh, so I think it's the perfect time of the year to pick up all these horror books. And uh, if you have a favorite horror book, uh, please uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, this is definitely one of my favorite horror series here. And I'm looking forward to having, having the series continue on. So hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you in the next video.